guys. So you know what day it is. Today is Friday, which means we are going to go over Friday favorites and fails. And I do have a fail this week. <clears throat> Sorry, I jingle. I have, uh, have some jingly bracelets on today. Um, I had surgery last Friday on my on my legs, so I don't have a lot of makeup today, but I do have um, some products that I've been using this week um, because I've kind of been bedridden, stuck at home, not a bad thing because I'm healing and that's the important part, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so ironically enough, I was complimented on my makeup uh, when I was taken into recovery. My recovery nurse just thought I, I was I looked beautiful. I thought it was very sweet of her to say that. I, I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, which is the ironic part. Um, what I was wearing though, and what I've been wearing all week, um, is the Physician's Formula CC Cream in light medium and then the powder also in light medium. So I've been wearing these. I've been keeping it very simple, very low key. Um, I haven't really been going anywhere. I mean, I went to a doctor's visit, but yeah. So this is what I've been, uh, this is what I've been wearing all week, these two. Um, now the day that I got the compliment, my eyes were Lorac Pro. Um, for that day, I was wearing the beautiful shade Champagne all over my lid and then in the crease I did taupe and mauve to give it a little dimension so these this is what I was uh, wearing on my face when I got complimented or um not face this is what I was wearing on my eyes so yeah same day I also got complimented on my nails and um, they had been freshly painted so um, I was I was rocking this this look pretty much all weekend into Monday and Tuesday and it was this is the Sally Hansen instant dry in instant iris it is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous shade dries really fast love it um, my accent nail um, I had wet and wild wild shine in sparkled so this was what I was wearing um, over the weekend this is what I was complimented on now this um, part of the week I have been rocking and I love this shade Rimmel 60 second nail polish in sweet lavender and this is such a spring appropriate shade it's gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous radiant orchid kind of color so love it okay now the last um, the last product that I have I've um, been suffering from some very dry lips I don't know I don't know why but recently that's that's been the trend for the last couple of days so I've been using this Dr. Lips original balm for lips and it's just this little trial size I got it in a, in a beauty box and I have to say it's absolutely fantastic um, my, my husband suffers from a bunch of, from allergies so I have to be very careful on what I put on my lips and kiss him with so this is a hundred percent hypoallergenic it's actually also good for cuticles and feet interesting enough Okay, so yeah, that was the Dr. Lips um, balm for, for lips. So, moving on. Okay, so we'll start out with the cleanser that I've been uh, using. I, re I recently purchased the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin. I also have the hydrating version of this. I um, switch off between the two and my Clarisonic every day and night. I love it. Um, this definitely foams with with a, uh, a Clarisonic. It's fantastic. It's helping with the breakouts that I'm currently having due to medication, so it's getting me right back on track. And um, I've only been using this for a couple of weeks, but I, I really enjoy it. Along the lines of the face, I have been using the Mario Badescu drying mask every day because unfortunately I've had breakouts. I'm still still trying to heal them. Um, but, and that's a big, this stuff stinks. Oh, it just, it, it stinks. It just absolutely stinks. Kind of reminds me of dirt. Um, if you can get past the smell, and it, it, the smell will only last for a couple of minutes, I take a Q-tip, I just spot treat. I've been using this every day. Every day. Um, you can ask my husband, he'll attest, because he'll come in and be like, what is on your face? Yeah, but I'm making it work, but the Mara Badescu drying mask. Moving on to body. So when I came home from the hospital, I had iodine 
all over. They were not stingy on the iodine on the leg. Um, so I've been using the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub in Coconut Lime. This oh, smells amazing. If you are a fan of coconut scents, this is fantastic and it's nice and thick, like not moving. Oh, it's so fantastic and I've been um, slathering this on my body for the last couple of days to, to help not only with the exfoliation but to try to get some of that iodine off my legs so I don't look orange anymore. So Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body Scrub and Coconut Lime. I believe you can purchase this at Ulta. I purchased mine at Walmart, maybe $8. Fantastic. Okay. Now, I've had some time on my hands and I've been thinking about whitening my teeth, so I picked some of these up. I got these at Costco and it came with this and it came with two one hour packs. Um, I... I want to say that I paid like $38 for it, but this is the Crest 3D White Strips with Advanced Seal Technology and Advanced Vivid. I love these. So it comes with 12, or no, I'm sorry, it comes with 14 strips. I've used six so far, and I have to say, uh, I got a little, got a little lipstick in my teeth, but I have to say that I'm really, really impressed. Um, I've heard such bad things about the Whitening Lightning Dial It Smile, so I was trying to take a different avenue, and so this is what I came across, and I purchased it, and I couldn't be happier. I think that after I use all uh, 14 of them, that I will reach the desired whiteness. So Crest 3D White Strips, good stuff. All right, now let's talk about my fail. Not only is this a fail, but that for me, this is an epic fail, and it's the photo mask, ultra repairing mask for weakened and damaged hair. And I like, I like most of their products, but this one, not so much. Um, the problem that, what, that I have with this is it is very, very runny. Um, it doesn't feel rich and moisturizing. It, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't smell bad, which is a plus. Kind of smells like baby lotion, but, um, I put this on my hair and my hair feels dry right after application and that shouldn't happen. There's no richness to it. Not like my, my argan oil mask where I put it on and it just feels rich and hydrating. Um, this, I've, I've been using it every day because I feel like my hair needs a little extra something and it's just not getting the job done. I'm having to go back and use other products and I shouldn't have to. So my fail is the photo, photo Paris mask for ultra repairing. Fail. Oops, sorry, that was kind of loud. Um, I like I like the brand. I just don't like this product in the line. So that, those should I say, are my Friday favorites and fails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, go ahead and like me. Don't forget to thumbs up and um, subscribe. Please subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.